information technology skills on today's video we're going to have the introduction on how to build gui with p kinter so this is a beginner's tutorial using the python programming so let's start so in creating the windows or a gui in python using p kinter of course we need to import first p kinter then after that we're going to use pk method okay so for the window name you can use any variable then we're going to use or have the main loop method this method is used as an infinite loop to run the application then wait for an event to occur and process the event as long as the window is not closed okay so let's try so we're going to use the python 3 you can use any ide that you have so uh, for me i have the ide shell 3.9.5 then let's have new file so here guys we have the file that we need so we need to import the tk enter then we're going to use the tk method and after the tk method is the main loop that is the three basic part when we want to create gui with tk enter so copy this code and i'll be explaining what it's used So here guys, we have the keyword from tkinter import astery. Astery means that we're going to import all the library that is found on the tkinter. Okay, so we have the windows name as the root. Okay, so root can be changed in any variable name that you want. You can use the variable name window or any word. Then we have the pk method. So this method is used to create the window. Then we have the root dot main loop. Okay, so as I said before, main loop is used to loop the screen and wait for the event to process until you close the window. Okay, so let's try to run this program. Okay, so let's just save the program on any part or any folder that you want. So then let's just name this as GUI. Then click enter or just click this save button okay so if you're going to observe we have a window here the title is tk we have the minimize maximize and close button okay so that is the result of this code so there are two ways on how to import the tkinter so we can use the other method let's just comment this part then we can use import then tkinter okay so we can have this part then we can also have or create a name for tkinter so we can place as tk for shortcut okay so here if you're going to use this type of method we need the object name for tkinter okay so the object name for tkinter is tk so for this when we're going to use the tk method we need the object name which is tk small letter t small letter k dot the method that we need okay so for going to run this program observe the output is just the same so just don't forget to use or import the library that we need which is the tkinter then the tk method to create the gui or the window and the main loop to loop the window until it wait for the event Okay, so I suggest for creating a tkinter or a GUI using tkinter, we're going to use the first import. Okay, so this method. The reason is we're going to use the asteri for it to import all the package included in tkinter. Now guys, let's have some of the Windows attributes that we can change or have on our GUI first is the title method this is used to add title on the title bar so here guys on our example you can see that the title is tk okay so this is the title bar the letter that is found on the title bar is tk so to change the title inside or on the title bar we're going to use the title method so how do we use that here inside or between the tk method and main loop we're going to have the attributes just don't forget that the main loop is the last line of code when we are creating a gui using the kinter all right so copy this code first so here guys on our code we added root that 
title and inside the parentheses is the string that we want to place on our title bar so i'll be adding gui application as the title okay so root is the windows name so you can change this depending on the windows name that you have so let's try to run this program so observe on the title bar we have gui then because the string is too long it will not display but we can of course change the size of the window okay so we have here the gui application as the title next attribute that we have is the geometry okay so inside the geometry we have two parameter or attributes we have the size and position okay this method is used for both purpose to change the size of the window and change the position of the window so on our gui we have this default size of our screen okay so we can change this size using the geometry so here on our code let's add the geometry or let's change the size of the screen by 500 by 500 okay so copy this code and i'll be explaining what it means so here guys we added root that is the name of the window then the method geometry okay so inside the method is a string indicating the width and height so basically this is width times the height of your window okay so i set the width as 500 and the height as 500 so now let's try to run this program observe our window is bigger than the previous output okay so to change the location or to set the positions of the window if you're going to open it we're going to use again the geometry okay so if we're going to use the geometry first is the window size that is width times height then we're going to add the position okay so the first position is the left position plus the top position okay so here guys let's try to have 250 from the left side then 250 from the top let's try to run this program observe this is the location of the gui application so from the left this is 250 then from the top another 250 okay that is the use of geometry we have the width and height plus the left pixel and the top pixels to set the positions so for some instance we don't want our gui to be resizable okay so the default gui is resizable if you're going to observe this output you can resize the window you can change the width you can change the height depending on your preference okay but for some instance we don't want to change those things so how do we do that we have the third attribute which is the resizable okay so inside the resizable we have the width and height this method instructs the window manager if this window can be resizable or not okay so this accepts a boolean value so you're just indicating if the width is resizable or not so that is true or false same with the height so here on our code guys let's have resizable okay so copy this code okay so if you're going to observe um we also have a definitions that will display on your screen if you don't know the use of a method okay so basically we have here the definitions of resizable for the weed you can set that into none and same with the height okay so now observe that i place a zero comma zero indicating that the width and height will be set to false okay now let's try to run this program so here guys on our output we cannot resize or change the size of the width the cursor is just the pointer same with the height okay so that is the use of zero we are setting the width and height as false then let's try to change the height into one then run again the program 
the width guys we cannot resize the width for the height we can resize the height okay so the reason is we set one for the height it means that you can resize it okay so it accepts a boolean value zero and one is used for boolean value zero is for false one is true but we can also use the word okay so we can also have true and false now this time the width is true and the height is false then let's try it on this program so observe we can resize the width but for the height we cannot resize it okay so that is resizable here we also have the min size and max size okay so min means minimum then max is maximum okay for min size we are indicating or setting the limit after which the window won't be shrink okay so that is the limit to shrink or minimize the size of the screen for the maximize this method is used to set the limit after which the window won't be expand okay so we are setting the maximize or the maximum size of the screen so let's comment this part because we want to resize the window or our screen okay so copy this code first okay guys here we have the main size we are setting that the minimum size of the screen that we're going to shrink is until 250 width by 250 height for the maximum size we are setting it or allowing the user to maximize the screen until 800 width and 800 height now let's try to run this program so this is the size of our screen this is 500 by 500 if we're going to minimize this okay so this is the mean size we can only minimize the screen until 250 by 250 and the maximum size is 800 by 800 so what if you want the gui or the windows to be displayed on a full screen there are two ways the first way is to set the geometry by the size of the screen so for me my screen size is 1920 by 1080 but what if you're going to run the GUI or your screen or your application on a different device with a different size of a screen? Okay, so that is another problem. So to set the application full screen on any devices, we can use the attribute full screen. So let's comment this part and set the GUI to full screen. So copy this code first. So here we have the attributes method then the attribute that we have or we need is the full screen attribute then setting it into true so if we're going to run this program so observe the output is on full screen you can see here that it is running so basically the full screen attribute is used if you want to run a program full screen on any devices but if you want the program to run on a specific size we can use the geometry so that's it guys we're done with the attributes and creating gui applications using the kit using tkinter if you want to know more about tkinter and gui applications in python programming don't forget to subscribe and hit that notification bell for more tutorial videos bye